30 Days Shaolin, Day 27 Training the Foundations of Kung Fu Black Tiger Steals Heart Step out, turn, just 
nice and slowly, that's it. Turn, nice and slowly, just feel that. That's it, good. You feel that waistline. <coughs> you still sink down a little bit more on your back leg there, so you feel it's floating up a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you feel that. You feel that as you're coming forward, you're coming forward onto your front leg a little bit, and that one's rising up. Yeah? yeah. So if Maria does a uh, black tiger, just a into air. Yeah? So she's a black tiger here. You see, if she sunk down on her stance, yeah? I can do this, yeah? And it won't pull her off of the stance. She rises up onto her back leg, yeah? So you rise up if you can now, rise up onto your back leg. You see. <laughs> yeah, you see, you're still rooted. Yeah. Uh, that's it, so you rise up here, you feel how unstable it is. Things is quite <coughs> another stable stance, you're used to a stable stance, you don't have to think about doing the stable stance, it's actually now harder for you to do an unstable stance. Yeah? Because you've got to hold on a second. I've got to change the yeah. way that I'm used to doing it. Yeah, because Marie's already done it like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Yeah. Just stepping out like this. Like that. So there's only fast, you see. That's it. Then I go, what do I need to check? That. My bow arrow stance and my shoulders. Yeah? This isn't raised up at all, this is relaxed, it's not pushed forwards, I'm not terribly off it, it's that all weaker than that tiger. So this is a nice relax, this is flat, this is aimed at my target, yeah. and I've rotated from the waist here. Yeah. That's it. The fist isn't clenched so that the knuckles are white, yeah? It's just gently closed because the power here doesn't come from like a, a hammer blow. Yeah. It's the force comes through the fist, through the body. Yeah. That's it. So the power comes from uh, the dantian and the waist rotation, not from the shoulder. So different styles. Some styles may punch from, from the shoulder. Yeah. So the power comes from the shoulder. Here on the black tiger. Power coming from the place here. The course, the internal course is coming from the dent here. Yeah? That's it. Put it from the waist rotation, that's it. That's it. Nice and slow now for you. Okay. Good. it. And again, straighten the legs, sink down in the stance. From your centre, not quite pushing into your front leg. You feel the difference? Just here. Yeah? Relax. Now just let yourself drop down. That's it. Okay. Now the shoulder here. Good. Now turn and do the back tiger. That's it. That's it. Don't thrust from here. Just relax this part of the body. And again, back tiger. That's it. Here, back tiger. That's it, back tiger. Breathe out as well. Yeah. Otherwise you feel it's all light on the top. Hold your breath, it's all light on the top. So you breathe out. That's it. Show your back leg as well. Yeah, that's it. Takes a little while getting used to a flat tiger skill as hard as opposed to, um, you know, a, a punch like this. Yeah? <coughs> a punch like this, of course it's going to hurt if somebody hits you with a punch foot facing forward like this and turning onto the back foot and then thrusting through. Mm. Yeah, working on its internal external, it's still going to hurt. But the black tiger skill is hard. Um, doesn't have to be like a bludgeon, mm. yeah, just to be soft. Yeah, just like this. Yeah. Comes through. Yeah. That's it. Now make a possible as you're doing it, just so you can get used to it. Good. And each time you should do that for yourself, sinking down from your waist, yeah, from the center. That's better. That's it, don't bend your knee off your back foot when you're doing it. It's not locked out. You see here, I've locked out the knee. Yeah, that's a lock out. And this is straight. Yeah, that's, I've got the knee locked out. So if I'm here and I'm locking the knee out, yeah, I'm locking the joint here, which I don't want to do. But I don't want to bend it so that I'm bent here. Yeah, I don't want it to be like a banana shape. I want it to be straight. Yeah, straight, but not locked out. Yeah, which means that I'm going to be more sun down and rooted from here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then my knee isn't coming over my toes, yeah? It's just above my ankle, because you've got this perfect leg. So the stance is taking a little bit of practice to you know, really get right, which is why we did the stance training with Shannon Kung Fu, which is where I'm going to touch train. Yeah. To get the stances correct before you add in the hand forms. Yeah, but actually it's getting better, so this is okay. Okay, just sink down, relax. Breathe out. That's it. Take breathe, turn your waist. Turn your waist to the front. That's it.